The other day someone said to me that I don't dress like a mum and I shouldn't wear what I do. There was even a comment about my clothing not being age appropriate. I was wearing this outfit. You I man what excuse me, a post shared by Stevie Aussie mum, at Mitribov 6, on January the 2nd, 2018 at 11.29 pm PST. The 1950s just telegrammed and they want their outdated views back. Did the government roll out and distribute a mum uniform and I missed the memo? Did they assign people to enforce and police such dress codes? Shall I go buy an apron too? Since when do I have to dress according to someone else's likes and dislikes? Lastly, I plan to be 80, rocking ripped jeans, chill trimmed unicorn shirts and rainbow hair. So you can take your age appropriate dribble back a few decades. What I choose to look like or wear does not change who I am within. My appearance does not impact my personality. Who I am on the outside does not define who I am on the inside. Your opinions, views and sense of style only reflects you and not anyone else. I will look however I want to look and dress in whatever I want to dress in and still be a mum. I could have a sex change and I'll still be the mother to my children. Guess what, good and kind people can have tats, mums can have piercings, caring people can ride motorbikes and wear a patch. Poor people can be generous beyond their means and quiet people can be loud. Aesthetically pleasing people can be mean, fit looking people can feel insecure, wealthy people can be rude and crass, happy people can be in pain and friendly people can do evil things. Enough with the stereotypes there's nothing worse or more ignorant. Think before you speak, get to know someone before you choose to judge someone, better yet, just don't. This post originally appeared on my tribe of six and was republished here with full permission. You can read and see more from Stevie on the my tribe of six Instagram and website. Listen, get all the funniest bits from our imperfect parenting podcast, this glorious mess in your ears below.